Hey, welcome back everybody. It's me, Jason Yamamoto, and today I will be covering the um, fear of failure, how to overcome the uh, fear of failure. You know, the fear of failure is perhaps probably the strongest force holding people back from their true potential. In a world full of uncertainty, a delicate economy, and countless misfortune that could happen to anyone. It is easy to see why most people are inclined to play it safe. But sometimes playing it safe has its risks as well. If you never dare to fail, your success will have a low ceiling. And most people underestimate their merit and ability to recover from failure. Leading them to pass up, you know, any kind of opportunities that may come towards their way. Um, let's go over some few strategies. Maybe this can help you. Who knows? You know, just want to let you guys know I started a business three times. This is my fourth time attempting. And I, every time I failed, I've learned something new. And I'm a type of guy who just does not quit. All right. Anyways, guys, let's consider the cost of missed opportunities. The biggest risk that people fail to consider is the benefit they lose by avoiding high risk, high reward opportunities. Okay. The issue is that without taking risks, you can't exploit any opportunities. You can live a quiet and reasonably happy life, but you are unlikely to create something new, and you are unlikely to make your mark on the world. Okay? You gotta research the alternatives. Alright? The unknown is a major source of fear. Alright? When you don't know what you're dealing with, potential consequences seem far worse than they really are. Take the power out of fear by understanding it. Research all potential outcomes so you can pretty much understand the risks of failure and benefits of success. You got to put the worst case scenario into perspective. One of the most powerful questions posed by Tim Ferriss in the 4 hour work week is if you chase your dreams and fall flat on your face. Worst case scenario, how long would it take you to recover? And the answer is probably less than you expect. Like I said, I failed three times in my business. I'm 28. I, I ventured out to create my own business at the age of 24. Right? So in four years, I failed in three different businesses. And pretty much it's almost equivalent to like a year, maybe what? four months uh, average, you know, every time I failed, right, the time to recover, you know, chances, are you going to, you know, could you recover completely in a few months, it probably, you could, you could, I, I, I failed, and I came back on my feet, little less than six months, you know, you got to understand the benefits of failure, as Emerson said, life is a series of experiments. The more you make, the better. Each failure is a trial and an experiment and opportunity for growth. Even if failure costs you financially, the educational benefits can far outweigh the loss. You just earn the power, the power of wisdom, the power of you just did it. All right? There's no better experience than then going out there and doing it you have to make a contingency plan okay another way to out overcome the fear of failure is to reduce the downside hedge your risk by creating a contingency plan even if your first option fails you can maintain the status quo with a solid backup plan all right you also got to take action the best way to reduce fear and build confidence is taking action. As soon as you do, you will begin accumulating experience and knowledge. Everything is the hardest the first time. It's like jumping off a cliff into a lake. After you do it once, you see that the water is safe and each, each time afterwards is easier, right? Um, the last advice I can actually give you guys is you got to burn your boats. When ancient Greek armies traveled across the sea to do battle, right, the first thing they would do after landing was to burn the boats, leaving them stranded 
with no way to make it home besides victory. The resolve of the soldiers will strengthen. When success and failure are their only options, you have no choice but to follow through. If you have a goal but are afraid to commit, force yourself into action by burning the boats, metaphorically. Right? So, whatever you do, right, like, here's a good, um, Example, set a deadline to move a new in, in, to move into a new city without signing a lease. The the fear of failure di disappears once you realize it can't save you. You just have to do. Right? Uh when I first moved away from my hometown at the age of 18, I only had $50 in my pocket. $50. And I could have um, landing on the street and been a homeless, but here I am. Ten years later, I am working a full time job, served in the military. I have a beautiful wife, a son. Don't have a home, but I do have a roof over my head and food to supply us every month, and health insurance. Right. So with that being said. You just have to try, all right? So, guys, I hope um, this lesson can benefit you guys. This is um, my philosophy and knowledge that I want to spread with you guys. And if you guys have any other questions, please let me know. It's your boy, Jason Yamamoto, and I'll talk to you guys later. Nice. Nice. Breathe. Breathe.